I sometimes get a kick out of being able to still survive in this environment, even you know when everyone says that ah oh, you shouldn't anger the government. That was a very critical moment for many people in Hong Kong because that was the moment we realized that the one country, two system were gradually, you know, fading away from us. You know, this is where we were located. Uh, our tent was on this spot right here. That was the first time that I saw Hong Kong people, you know, just fighting for something that they, they want. And it was a very intense moment. After the Umbrella Movement, I decided to become an independent singer. I had to find ways to continue to, to survive in this entertainment business where everyone you know, thought that uh, that was the end of my career. I was banned from uh, China after the Umbrella Movement. So, you know, I couldn't play anywhere else. So we thought, okay, we'll do a Hong Kong tour. And we started to do the first gig on the tram. I started to find ways where I can do my own concerts without the money that's coming from the corporations, such as the concert that I did uh, just uh, two months ago. I turned towards the smaller businesses, the local businesses. It's kind of like crowdfunding. Some people are still fighting. You know, some people just do not want to give up. And it is going to get worse than it is right now. I, I do believe that we have to educate the younger people about fighting for different rights, not only democracy, that is not something that would happen overnight. My biggest fear right now is that the people of Hong Kong uh, would be consumed by all this negativity and all this anger that is surrounding us. We know that we have to stand up for these issues because we can. You know, some people just cannot.